Good afternoon, my name is Kiona. Welcome to my channel. Today we have 10 words, 10 Trini words inspired or influenced by the French in Trinidad. And so, to begin, we need the opening, Juve. Juve, the opening from the French words Je over. So a lot of people know what Juve is as once you participate in carnival you know juve to start carnival monday that's the first event of the carnival festivities on carnival monday right so for the opening of the two days of carnival you have juve next up from juve you still want to fet so fet is another word influenced by the french in trinidad um, it's re it really just means a feast or entertainment, which it was the same. It's just a big party, a big bram. And who are you going to go the fet with other than your doo darling? Okay, not really. Um, doo is really a term of endearment in Trinidad. It, from the French, it literally means sweet, sweet. But in Trinidad, it's just something we say i guess when you want a mama guy somebody will get into what that means in another video but yeah you, you talk to your friend and say oh god to do come come for your child it's especially used for children you say come to do let mama see come for do do -du, sweet sweet and moving on from that we have your makome somebody else you might want to go and enjoy a fet with right your makome is usually um it's considered your godmother or a woman friend it's an adult woman this is not no teenage girl no little five-year-old child two children say hey i'm a macrame no it's usually referred to a, a, a female woman it is usually your godmother or your child's godmother you will consider your macrame all right so juve your fat with your dudu and your macrame but then your doo-doo darling started a bad talk here. Yeah. So what you would say? You would say, they too, move along. Move along is bad talk. Um, it's really just, it's when somebody never have anything good to say, you just say, they too, move along. She too, move along. She always, she always wants a bad talk, somebody. <laughs> that is actually how we speak. Um, move along. In French, bad talk. So, you move along, but then you're studying your friend, your friend to move along, yeah? But then the sweet fella passes in the fet, and you get bazori. Bazori, that's another word inspired by the French or influenced by the French from the word abazori, um, which is to daze or stun. So it's like you get shopper. You see, you see the sweet man pass and he just get shoppy, they can't talk, you can't say nothing. Because why? You bazzled him. Other things can bazzled you. But usually, I mean locally, I don't think I have ever heard it used out of something or someone very attractive has gotten you bazzled him. But you can't use it for somebody say something so dirty, she get bazzled him. It's like he was talking and... They come with some kind of outer time and talk and you're just like oh, you, you get my rubbers only day. But generally we use it because I mean we are loving people, so we use it in terms of somebody sexy walk by and you get shipping. Alright? But you get basically for the second, but you come back to this little movie along one on the side here and you realize you know what you ain't gonna take that one, you're going home, you're gonna relax. But then things just not going right in your life and next thing you know you start again MAGA. MAGA from the French word MAGA, I guess, is French for skinny. MAGA in Trini means skinny. Same thing, MAGA, skinny. Right? So you, you get MAGA and you realize you think back to, to that movie like one the other day in the fat now. And you say, but wait now, this girl like she maljo me. Maljo, um, from the French Malia, which is bad eyes or evil eyes. 
So you say in Trini, you would say somebody malja you if you find like they watch you and they kind of jealous you. So so they had bad thoughts on you and they cast like an evil or a kind of curse on you. They, they give you a bad eye. Maljo. Now after you do maljo, you just go for after you get maljo, you just go for prayers. Eh? But that's not the point. <laughs> so you get maljo and say, dog, let me go and get some prayers. We, we, the next term, um, influenced by the French. We, oui, we, oui, monsieur. Now they use we to say yes, right? But in Trinidad, we oui is more of an exclamation point. It's used more or less for emphasis. So, that girl real maga we, we. It's just, yeah, she's skinny. She's very skinny. I want you to know she's skinny. <laughs> and last but not least, I decided to train a little piece of fruit because she's so maga. You're going in the back and you go and find two pumps. It is because she's pumps it there. It is a fruit with a um, spike, spiky type of seed in the center. I believe most people call it golden apple. Pomme cité. Pomme is actually apple in French, right? So, that is your 10 words inspired or influenced by the, the French in Trinidad and Tobago. Now, I mean, a Trini, so I'll get a little lanyard. Lanyap is another French inspired word. Um, it's really just a free something extra. So let me say I went and buy a bag of mango. But then the vendor decide he going to get two pomerac on his side. The pomerac is your lanyap, is your little free some extra. Right? But I have more for you. I have more little lanyap for you, right? So, yeah, you get maga, maga, maga. So you decide I right, you need them two little pumps today. But then you see the move along one walking down the road again. So you decide, you decide to get on like a wajang. Wajang is another <laughs> I guess it's French inspired um Wisigoth. I, I see I actually had to find that one where that word came from. I found this and you see quote la. But when they see Wisigoth, I did not know what it was. And so I did the only thing any sensible person would do. I googled. And it is, I guess it was from some Gothic people that, I don't know, I guess the French decided they, they used to behave right. Because Wajang really in Trini is for rude, kind, rude um, disgusting, loud, boisterous kind of behavior. Behaving like a Wajang. Right? Um... Don't worry. I, so you see the one, you start to behave like a wajang, and then you say, here what? Let me not start a girl like a jamet here. <laughs> jamet. Um, it's not the same as wajang, so that context, I probably used it in, would not be ideal. But a jamet is like a loose woman or a woman of loose morals, right? So I guess when when in the fat and you start to wind down, we would have my concern, so yeah, jamet. Um, but it can also be used for men. Some men men can be a jamma too. It's not it's not restricted to, to the female. Um, it is from the French, I guess, jam, jamet, which is enjoy or something like that. And I mean, we still in the carnival season, so you get like a waja, right? And they start to call it a jamma, aren't they? So you went for your bois. Now, in the carnival culture, a bois is the stick you use for stick fighting. But bois in French is just wood. And in Trinidad, I mean, you could call it just wood too. But it's typically used for the stick you use in stick fighting. And last but not least, I am hungry, so I'm going to get out of here and see if it have any makafushi. Maca fouché is from the French manque fouchette, which means missed, missed the fork or missed by the fork. So in Trinidad, it's really just leftovers, you know. You will see if it have any maca fouché, ma maca fouché. If you enjoyed this video, I encourage you to like and subscribe. 
and if you have any other words that may be influenced by the French I hope to see it down below but we also I mean there's so much more the French played such an important part in Trinidad and Tobago's cultural history that you probably will see other videos from me on that with um, French inspired words for animals cities and towns in Trinidad and Tobago and even some French surnames, some popular French surnames.